is a lot to consider when selling a home. Home equity is high, housing inventory is down, interest rates are at an all-time low. Is the uncertainty of the current world news going to drag down the home market? Hey, this is Keller with Keller Lawrence Real Estate, and I can guarantee the sale of your home at a price and time frame that you agree to, or I'll buy it myself. Spring is normally a busy time for the real estate market. However, things look very different right now because of the COVID-19 virus. Instead, people are all too busy hoarding toilet paper, alcohol, hand sanitizer, major changes to our daily routines, school closures, work closures, and significant changes in the global and domestic economy. It's no longer business as usual in real estate, but the show still goes on for most buyers and sellers. Most buyers are staying the course with their purchases, but the jitters seem to be setting in more over the last couple of days for sure, especially for those who are also in need to sell a home. Sellers are much more nervous and understandably so, and many are questioning their needs or plans to sell their home at all. There was some concern that transactions would be halted due to the courthouses uh, shutting down, the appraisers, loan underwriters shutting down because of the coronavirus, but so far everybody's operational with some adjustments to adhere to, to the social distancing practices. I can see a small slowdown, but not much. We still have houses on the market and I've got more getting ready to come on the market. But as you can see, with so much uncertainty of the world news right now, as of this week, we're going to a major social distancing phase in which life in America is going to be very different from us, for us. People are really hesitant to let people walk through their homes and, you know, I can't blame them. Um, on the other side, buyers are still seem more motivated by historically low rates and the lack of buying opportunities than they are the concerns of the likely impact of the virus. In fact, last weekend, we sold three homes, two of which sold in one day for over asking price because of multiple offers. It seems that long-term confidence in local real estate is still a stronger influence on people's decisions. Mortgage rates are now at their lowest level in history and they seem poised to go even lower. Before the virus hit the market, mortgage rates were really down compared to a year ago. So that's definitely creating a more affordable situation for buyers in the market. Plunging treasury yields is having a good effect for home buyers and those looking to refinance. The challenge in here has really been a lack of supply. So it's not the buyers having an issue affording homes, but that is that they can't find homes to buy. Since the rates are very low, it's a great time to get out there and just get more information on how it could benefit your situation with respect to refinancing or increasing your buying power because the cost of money is a little bit less than it was before. Nobody knows what life and the economy and how coronavirus is going to impact the real estate market over the next month or the next 10 months because we don't know what the real impact of the virus will be on public health and markets but at this point in my time in time it's my takeaway that the supply is likely to take a bigger hit than the demand again it's keller lawrence here and if you want to get the best advice, whether you have questions on buying or selling, interest rates, or your home's value, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get an up to the minute free market evaluation. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button or you can comment down below. You can also call me anytime at 864-766-SOUL. That's 864-766-SOUL for a no-obligation consultation. That will empower you, empower you to learn and get options on what will work best for you in your situation with all the confusion in today's market. What are you waiting for? Call now and start packing.